Welcome to Informatica Global Customer Support Videos. In this video, we will see how to update parameter set entries in application in IDQ. Update parameter set entries command updates entries from a parameter set. Run this command to update the values in parameter set entries for a mapping or workflow in an application. List parameter set entries command list the entries in a parameter set. Now we will move to the demo part. Right now I am in Info Home ISP bin directory. We will first use list parameter set entries command that will list out the parameters in the parameter set. In list parameter set entries command, we have to specify some of the options for the command to work successfully. Hyphen DN specifies the domain name, hyphen UN specifies the username, hyphen PD specifies the password hyphen SN specifies the DIS service name on which the application is deployed, hyphen A specifies the application name which contains the parameter set, hyphen PS specifies the parameter set name, hyphen PRS specifies the project scope. We specify the project scope in the following manner. First, we will specify the project name, then we will specify the folder name if there is any folder, then we will specify the mapping or workflow in small case indicating whether the parameter set is associated with mapping or workflow. Then we will specify the mapping name or workflow name. Now we will run this command. The command ran successfully and it indicates that there is only one parameter with name add and value 5 in the parameter set. Now we will use update parameter set entries command to update the value of this parameter set. In update parameter set entries command, all the options are similar to the list parameter set entries command, but we have to specify one more option hyphen PNV, which specifies parameter name value pairs. As we can see, we can specify name value pairs in double quotes separated by spaces if we have to specify more than one parameter name value pair. Since we just have to update one parameter, we will modify this value with the parameter name and parameter value and we will run this command. As we can see, the command ran successfully. Now we will again run the list parameter set entries command to check whether the value is updated successfully or not. As we can see, the command ran successfully and the value of the parameter is also updated to 100. Please refer to these links to understand more about how these commands work. We would love to hear from you. Thank you.